What is going on guys, it is your boy T, Stingray, welcome back to another video guys, today we are here in Driving Empire because we're going to be looking at the brand new, the Tommaso cars that just joined guys, a brand new licensed vehicle joined Driving Empire guys, and I'm super excited to check it out, but before we get started, we should smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you guys have it, and also comment down below, what do you guys think about my brand new setup, it's not finished yet guys, so please, please, if you think it's kind of ugly, it's it's not done okay so be sure to comment down below what you guys think i think it's pretty cool so far i'm still adding some stuff to it and hopefully one day we get to do a tour with you guys and if you guys want to do that be sure to get this video to a thousand likes right now i'm super excited to also announce a lot more things coming in the future guys so be sure to stay tuned and also the live streams are back every single weekend guys so i'm super happy about that but let's go ahead and check out the brand new d tomas so in driving empire guys and you can see i'm for some reason a billionaire now in this game which is absolutely cool you guys can see we also got new roads grass and tree textures in here and of course a bugs fixes so now let's get this video started all right let's go check this out you guys can see we got oh we, we do have new road textures in here look at that that looks super realistic and you guys can see that the oh my goodness these look absolutely amazing you can almost smell the flowers through my screen but let's go ahead and go inside real quick guys and check out the dealership because we got some new vehicles in here the d tomaso guys or i like to call it the d tomato and you guys can see that it is absolutely beautiful we had this car before and we have it in cdt as well but this time it is the final official license one guys and you can see there's absolutely cool models in here we got one we got two we uh what is this is this a d tomaso two it is a three and then four so we got four new models in here which is absolutely cool now let's go ahead and go to the dealership and see how much is gonna cost us all right new vehicles new licensed vehicles okay here we go we got the noble right over here and but where's the d tomaso here we go we got this right over here guys the 1985 d tomaso i thought it was four models but i guess there's only three in here but let's check this out in order it seems like i already got the 2019 i knew i had it but it, they just gave it to me for free which is cool but you can see the 1974 d tomaso pantera gts right over here which is really really nice it has 174 miles top speed for a car that was for 1974 that's really really cool but before we go any further guys i did announce that i am going to be releasing a horror game channel pretty soon guys so be sure to go and subscribe right now the link is gonna be in the comments down below guys it's gonna be pinned down there so be sure to check that out but let's go ahead and purchase this one for ninety thousand dollars you guys can see if we explode it we got some regular doors in here and we got a trunk and a kind of like a frunk in a way but i don't think we can stick anything in the in the front uh cabin guys but let's go ahead and buy it this is only 90 grand which is not bad at all and then we also got the 1985 d tomaso pantera right over here which is a ooh, this one's a much more sportier model than the last one almost kind of reminds me of the lamborghini diablo but not really guys kind of looks like an old mustang with a wide body and a cool wing on it but this is the d tomaso 1985 and it has a top speed with 182 so let's go ahead and buy this for 190,000. dollars hundred thousand dollars more than the previous one let's go ahead and purchase it and this one i'm super excited for guys the d tomaso the 2019 p72 and you guys can see how weird kind of this car kind of looks it kind of almost reminds me of an ant in a way <laughs> and a car that would kind of look like it would be in the flintstone guys as a supercar but this car has a top speed of 222 miles an hour and it also has a pretty cool butterfly wing effect just like a mclaren guys it is absolutely beautiful kind of reminds me of a mclaren and a pagani in one you can see that the driver's side is actually on the right side instead of the left so let's go ahead and check this out too as well all right here we go the pantera gts here we go look at this yeah this is 
nice. Now, I'm wondering if this has a body kit with it. Usually, they do. But let's go check it out. I, I want to see if it actually has a pretty cool body kit to it, guys. We got wraps in here, but I don't see any uh any body kits anywhere here. But you know what? Let's go ahead and get the performance up. I, I kind of want to get this performance all the way up, and let's see how much faster we're going to get this. Look at this. It already has a top speed of 209, and that's absolutely wild. Now, we're going to go ahead and get the acceleration up. Ooh, changing it to all-wheel drive. You know what? Let's do it. I don't know if that's going to be a good idea, but let's do it. But look at this, guys. We have a new top speed of 209 almost the same as the d tomaso the 2019 version but you guys can see that oh my gosh this thing is a beast it feels like it's lightweight so it's gonna be like super super quick oh yeah look at this whoa whoa yo this thing picks up speed bro oh my gosh this is insane check this out oh my goodness i feel like we got like quad turbos on this like the bugattis look at this oh my goodness this is insane this is insane the handling is really good too oh my gosh but the acceleration is wild i kind of want to take this to the drag race and see how this will do oh we got a couple of contestants in here let's do it let's do it all righty here we go guys we are racing against what is that a koenigsegg you know what? I am up for the challenge. <laughs> Yo! No way! No way we just beat a code exec, bro. We just not. Dude, we just, oh, that's the SEC to Atara. No way. No way. That, that No way we just beat the SSC to Atara right now, guys. No way. Look at that. 6.15 seconds. I mean, it's not as good as the Pagani Wire Up, but we just beat a hypercar with this thing. All right, we're doing it again. <laughs> this is insane. Okay, we're going against the same car again. I think he's going to get embarrassed after this one. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's go. Come on. We got this, boys. We got this. We got this. We're not even scared. You know what? I kind of want to see this in first person view because we're going to take my boys to Gapplebee's. Uh, I'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this. We're gone. We are gone. Look at it. Oh my gosh. A little bit slower that time, but we still beat the SCC Ultimate Arrow, guys. This is insane. Okay. Well, let's go check out the other car now. Let's see if we can do the same exact thing. All right. So this is the 1985 D Tommaso Pantera. Now let's go ahead and upgrade it fully guys you can see that this had a top speed of like 182 but let's see what it seems like after we fully upgrade it <laughs> all right look at this 218 miles an hour that's overkill all right let's go ahead and go to the drag race again guys you know i, I kind of want to color my car a little bit the interior uh let's go ahead and give it a pretty cool color interior maybe like a, a beige you know what let's go with a white i kind of like the white and then let's go ahead and paint the exterior something nice. Let's do it red. Yeah, look at this. Or maybe we're gonna go with the yellow or even white on white. You know what? I might go with the... Ooh, you know what? I've never seen a lot of people use the green, but we'll do the green this time. And let's go ahead and get some cool rims this time. And then we'll go ahead and color it. Jesus, look at this. This is cool. Oh my goodness. Now I gotta see if this will actually beat the record time of the last Di Tommaso, guys. All right, here we go. Are we racing against the same car? You know what? That's perfect. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. Yo. Yo. Okay. This is, this is absolute murder right here. Look at that. 5.84 seconds. No way! That's a lot faster than the last one. Bro, he's not quitting. I know he's not quitting right now, but dang, bro. Like, that is fast. 5.8 seconds. Why am, I, why am I stuck? Why did I end up here stuck? All right, here we go. Oh, my goodness. What is this? What is this I'm racing against? I don't know, but I just absolutely destroyed him. Look at this. Whoa, 5.8 seconds. And he still hasn't even finished the race. 9.5. My boy, I don't even think he was ready, guys. I don't think he was ready. I feel like I need a rematch with him. That's crazy. We're absolutely destroying everybody in this race right now. All right, here we go. We're racing against the same car we did the first time. And we still took my boy to Gapple Beast. Look at this. <laughs> 5.8 seconds. I don't even think he knows what's going on right now, guys. Because if I was losing to a car that was from 1985, I would quit too. But let's go ahead and check out the 2019 version. And let's see how much a decade later would destroy this car. <laughs> A decade from 2009, guys, not from 1985. So you know what I mean. Ooh, look at this. Yo, this is sick. I like the D Tommaso, guys. Look at this. It looks weird. 
It kind of looks alienish in a way, but I actually really, really like it. I've not seen one in person yet, guys. And I know it's a brand new supercar brand, and you can see that I still have to upgrade it. It has a top speed of 220 miles an hour, but if I go ahead and upgrade this, guys, well, let's just check it out and see what happens. Okay, this is overkill. 264 miles an hour with a acceleration of 68%. And it has a nitrous of 91. You guys can see how beast of a car this is already. Let's go ahead and change it a little bit, guys. I kind of want a brighter color to this. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit way too bright, but it actually looks pretty cool. What if we go with the green? Uh, you know what? I kind of like this. Kind of looks like a green mantis. Let's do that one. Or we can even do white. Or maybe we can do gold. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, you know what? Let's go with this one right here. And then we'll go ahead and we'll keep everything else. I like every how everything else kind of gives it that bronze orange look to it. So let's go ahead and race this. And let's see how much we can beat the brand new SSC. Tuatara. Oh, look at the tail lights. Even the tail lights are like covered in gold. Whoa, this is nice. I really, really like it. It sounds really, really unique too. Oh my gosh, this thing is so cool, guys. I can't believe I'm actually driving a fully licensed Di Tommaso in here. All right, here we go. The Di Tomato, guys, against a Porsche. You know what? This might be an interesting. Oh, <laughs> yo, yo, no way. This is okay. This has to be... Nani? No. No. That was way too fast. That was way too... Guys, we almost beat our Pagani Huayra R record. No way. We're literally like half a second there. Okay, I gotta do that again. The D Tommaso, guys, is absolutely wild. I don't know what else I could do with this with upgrade-wise. But this thing just took off like a SpaceX rocket ship. Okay, let's <laughs> let's go ahead and do that again. Alrighty, here we go. Come on, we got this, boys. We are going against the same exact car we went. <laughs> no way, bros. We went a little bit slower this time, but we just beat. Oh my gosh, we just beat the 2009 SAC Ultimate Arrow again, guys. But this time we beat him with two whole seconds instead of one. With this brand new 2019 Di Tommaso. This is wild. I, I can't believe this is an actual car. I feel like I gotta take this to the track and, and see the best lap time I can do with this. I feel like I could actually beat the Pagani Wire R with this. But first, we gotta go ahead and change it from all-wheel drive back to real wheel just so we can get the best handling, guys. Actually, it's saying that the all-wheel drive probably will give us better traction, but you know what? Let's do it. All right, here we go, guys. We got a couple of uh, hyper cars in here, but look how much we're spinning. <laughs> Yo, this is cool. Oh my gosh. Guys, this thing is a beast at every single corner. I mean, we're hitting the wall every single time. But the braking is pretty good, and I gotta say that the acceleration is probably one of the quickest in the game. I'm not gonna lie to you. If it comes close to the Pagani Huayra R, guys, this thing is a must to get in a driving empire. Look at this. We're just absolutely destroying this whole entire track, and we're almost done with the first lap. I can barely control my turning right here, but we're gonna get it. Look at this. Yo, I crashed so much, and I still don't know how I managed to finish under three minutes. But just like that, we got a 257 with the D Tommaso, guys, and we absolutely destroyed everybody in the server um i feel like i could beat the sec tuatara aggressor guys but i'm not going to today because we just absolutely destroyed everybody in this race without a hiccup they're not even finished yet guys look at that they're not even done yet but the Tommaso is an absolute beast you guys should i really really get it i really recommend it and it looks pretty cool i'm not gonna lie to you at first i didn't like it but now i love it but if you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see more d tomaso gameplay against other hypercars let me know in the comments down below but this is it for today's video be sure to smash the thumbs up button subscribe if you guys haven't and also don't forget to subscribe to my other channel guys that i'm gonna be uploading pretty soon and i just want to say thank you so much for always supporting your boy and i'll see you guys in the next one and peace out